September 12, 2018. I want to tell you a little bit about this simulation, a Category 4 hurricane that devastated the East Coast. The narrative was created by FEMA, and this took place a couple of months ago. But, you know, first I want to say, to those who leave comments like, um, they're going after Trump's Mar-a-Lago, or they're trying to destroy the red states. Are you that ill-informed or are you just not informed about what's happening in an awful lot of states that are not red? Oh, like California? What? People are so stuck in the matrix and this red-blue dichotomy Oh, I guess people love to just stay in that dichotomy. Why? Because it means you don't have to ever change. You don't have to ever do a thing. And you can believe that the red states are good and the blue states are bad. And vice versa for you who love the blue and hate the red and all go. Please go. I'm so tired of it. I am so tired of it. Now, think about this. They want to take out Mar-a-Lago? Really? So, if there's any damage to Mar-a-Lago, which I believe there was a little bit of damage that Irma brought about, might be wrong on the storm, but um, do you not think that Trump has the money to very quickly renovate? If they wanted you to even believe that they are fighting Trump, so they created this hurricane to destroy his estate in Florida. Uh oh my God. All right. Let's say, let's say that they decided to do that just to get you to believe that. And Trump is in it. He's in on it. And so what's the big deal to Trump? Nothing. These people have all the money in the world. Okay. Simulation, Category 4, hurricane devastated East Coast. Yes, just months ago, disaster planners simulated a Category 4 hurricane strike alarmingly similar to the real world scenario now unfolding on a dangerously vulnerable stretch of the East Coast. It was created by FEMA and an Argonne National Laboratory. Don't know anything about that. Um, simulated hurricane knocked out power for most gas stations in the mid-Atlantic region. Wow. Damaged a nuclear power plant and sent debris into major shipping channels, which meant Everything came to a halt. No gas. We've got damage to a nuclear power plant and shipping channels are brought to a stop. Senior leaders from the White House, along with more than 91 federal departments and agencies, participated in the national level exercise in late April and early May. So, Trump knew about the exercise and now it's going real. Don't you think that it's possible that these guys do these exercises just to kind of plot out the destruction that they want to take place? It could be. Fictional storm made landfall in the heavily populated Hampton Roads region. I believe that's in Virginia. Uh, bringing a 15-foot storm surge up to nine inches of rain in some areas within six hours that cut off main routes used for escape. As for rescuers, as well as for rescuers in the Hampton Roads area and elsewhere. So the rescuers and those people who didn't evacuate, bada boom, you can't evacuate. Cora. That was the name of the hurricane. It slammed hurricane force winds into three nuclear power stations. One was damaged. 33 major power substations were at risk 
from storm surge and major flooding. Key roads and bridges were also damaged and debris blocked the Newport News Channel and other waterways. Coast Guard Station Cape Charles lost power, another one severely damaged by high winds. The make-believe hurricane threatened hundreds of cell towers and the area where power was knocked out included 135 data centers, centers in Virginia and another 60 in Maryland, catastrophic damage to homes and significant damage to critical infrastructure within a 50 mile radius of the hurricane center. In parts of the East Coast they were deluged with water. Uh, it could result in a catastrophe on the scale of Katrina. Virginia Beach is one of the world's largest cul-de-sac in the sense that there are not a lot of ways to evacuate. Well, if that's the case, guys, I would suggest you evacuate. Um, <clears throat> you can't go north because of the uh, cheap uh, Chesapeake Bay. You can't really go south because you'll end up in the storm. You'll want to go west, but there are a lot of water bodies. So, Charleston, South Carolina. The average elevation is only around 11 feet. And we've got uh, people like Thor News, who has posted videos. Oh, wow. All right, 50 foot waves possible with Hurricane Florence. 100 foot waves possible with monster Hurricane Florence. 83 foot waves with Florence. I, I had a subscriber link below to this video of Thor News. Hurricane hits Texas September 15th. Really? Hurricane hits Texas. It's possible, according to Thor News, and Thor News somehow has been able to predict an awful lot. But he doesn't mention weather modification or geoengineering either, which pisses me off. Now, okay, the hurricane to hit Texas. I'm going to show you that, what it looks like. And Thor News, you can't see the deliberate engineering of these storms, but how is it that you think it's a storm? Because even in your uh, video, this is Hurricane Florence, and this, I guess, is Hurricane, what is it named? It's uh, Category 1 that's hitting Texas at the same time. Has anybody gotten any news on this? Now, Thorne knows in this, he says, he has been forecasting these hurricanes for 10 months out. Really? Wow. 10 months out, Thor. Well, you must have, I don't know, a, a private line to God, Mother Nature, telling you we're going to be getting all of these hurricanes hitting exactly where you said. 10 months out. All right. Um, yes, we do have a lot of nuclear power plants right smack in this uh, area where this hurricane is going to be hitting. So, you know, I there's no link to the actual um, plan that apparently the Department of Energy, they had a manual for this simulation. So if anybody wants to do any research to find that manual, to find out exactly what it was that they had planned for, I would say that that would be a good, um, you know, a good read in terms of what might be manifesting. Because I think it's pretty darn funny that they simulated this Category 4 to hit the East Coast, and now we have a Category 4 hitting the East Coast. All right, this, um, <laughs> uh, 
God. We've got an awful lot going on. And this sure is big. Um, where is it going? Wow. Straight into Anderson, South Carolina. Okay. Well, now it looks like it's going to be hitting Wilmington, which I believe that is. Um, let me get out. Okay. Yeah. Landfall Wilmington, which has stayed pretty consistent within the last, I don't know, 24, 36 hours. And then swinging right into South Carolina. Little River. I don't know. Will you continue to be a, a town or a city that is habited? Myrtle Beach. I think about that elderly woman that, uh, you know, in my last video I read that comment. Um, Merle's Inlet and yeah going right on up South Carolina and into West West North Carolina Anderson okay I just heard from a neighbor that she heard on the news four feet of water in Greenville this is Greenville this is Greenville and it's close to Anderson ship okay well we heard the president lots of water lots of water it's gonna be lots of water all right is this the hurricane? Is this the hurricane? What's the hurricane, Thor? Well, they can. They can manufacture the winds, the rain, whatever the hell they want, and call it a hurricane. But Thor, are you not seeing any of these signatures that tell you that, okay, this is a strange-looking hurricane, isn't it? Yeah, I, I'm getting really, you know, people are being destroyed. Life itself is getting killed off, and we still have these channels. Then they just don't mention that we're at war. Funny, isn't it? No, I don't think it is. I think it's incredibly irresponsible, and it makes me question their intentions, their their purpose here yeah all right so you're getting some rain that's for sure in Texas according to radar but this is what is this it's a manufactured storm for Houston and heading into Louisiana ah don't you like that straight line right there and this thing All right, we have manufactured weather. I don't think we have any real weather anymore. This is not how Mother Nature works. She doesn't just shoot off arrows of straight-lined cloud substance. Here's the radar. Um, so that blob thing, there's nothing on radar. And yeah, you've got rain already hitting Texas, Galveston, Houston. Um, but look, every single night you can go to the National Mosaic and you can check out all of, you know, the um, extremely low frequencies along with the high frequencies coming out of radar. And they can create with the high frequencies from radar shooting them up into the ionosphere, couple that with the extremely low or modulate it with the extremely low frequencies and voila! You've got earthquakes, you've got cyclones, you've got storms, you've got you've got manufactured weather. 
uh, I didn't see anything that resembled a hurricane on the national Doppler radar. Ventu Sky. Sorry. Uh, my, I just rebooted my computer. It worked fine for a while, and now it's slowing down. Humidity. Well, you have no humidity <laughs> in uh, the western half of the country, but an awful lot in the eastern. Wow. Okay. Interesting. They're making it wet. It's going to be a wet one. It's going to be a lot of water. And they're in the, the, the humidity is high. It's high. And, uh, you know, look at the um, wind speed. Florence, 71. 62, 75, 60, 55, 32, 27. Well, doesn't seem like a Category 4 hurricane to me. Where's the hurricane that Thor is saying is going to hit Houston on the 15th? Don't see it. All right, well, maybe he has an in. But look at all of the cloud substance that is being manufactured for us. So I've got to stop this. Um, this is a really big hurricane. Well, supposed hurricane. And look at all of the geoengineering taking place on the outskirts of, well, it seems to be on the outskirts of the states that are going to be slammed. That's interesting. That looks like, I don't know, a Wi-Fi signal. And you had an awful lot of cloud creation in um, in what is this? Is this um, boy? Get me on a different kind of map, and I'm lost. All right. Uh, <laughs> All right, we've got, oh, that's up in Canada. Shoot, that's why. Man, I am lost. All right. Um, well, Canada, are you having an awful lot of flash flooding? Maybe so. But I, I do want you to see how this uh, hurricane, how huge it is. So, even with it hitting um, the Carolinas, this thing is massive. And so if it's going to be um, raining the size of this hurricane, it, we're, you are talking Massachusetts all the way up to Massachusetts might get slammed with a lot of flash flooding. I do want to bring your attention to what is being superheated down here. Wow, look at that. Well, that happens to be uh, that hurricane that Thor is talking about maybe right around here the X mark marks the spot this is um, Noah so this is Noah's site and apparently it's the only model showing this he said out of nine only one shows this supposed I don't whatever they're calling it but it just so happens to be X marks the spot where we have an awful lot of 
superheating going on, high frequency heating, manufactured, 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 and I'm not going to stop saying it. I'm not going to stop saying it. So, let's see what AccuWeather has to say. New tropical threat poses late week flooding risk to Texas. Okay. Part of Texas is being put on alert for possible widespread flooding and dangerous surf as a new tropical threat is forecast to emerge in the western Gulf of Mexico to end this week. Following downpours that have been pestering central and coastal Texas since last week, a new potential threat from the tropics may arrive last, late last, late this week by way of the Gulf of Mexico. As if there weren't enough tropical concerns. Let's bring it on. Let's bring it on. This is what it is, okay? A manufactured storm. Another tropical storm to hit. Manufactured, artificial, man-created, not natural. So Americans, could you please wake up Start acting responsibly, grow up, do the research, look into weather modification, look into geoengineering, and my God, stop playing dumb and stop calling everybody crazy. People are getting hurt because of this. This is not okay. And it's so not okay for these channels to never mention weather modification.